name is Tama Lever. I teach in the Internet Studies Department at Curtin University. The project that I uh, was looking into was examining the way that social media tools and Twitter in particular could be useful to build a sense of connectivity for students in the open university uh, version of our unit, which is purely online, but also to build a sense of connectivity between students across study periods and indeed across cohorts who are taking the unit in different modes and places. The technology requirements for this were fairly basic. We used social media tools that were already existing, with Twitter in particular. We modelled how to use Twitter. Twitter is a, a very basic social networking tool that allows you to make posts of 140 characters or less. So not, not a huge amount to work with there, but it, it is a very accessible technology and something that you can use on pretty much any platform. You can use it on a mobile, you can access it via SMS, you can use it via the web. Most of our students will have probably either use the mobile phone interface or the web interface, but it does mean that the tool is very accessible and quite easy to use. It doesn't require a lot of energy to write little tweets of 140 characters. Within the unit context at least, students were doing a number of things. They were in part getting to know each other, in part they were sharing resources, and in part they were interacting in ways that students naturally take for granted when they're in face-to-face -face settings, but don't really have that opportunity to network in a way when you're studying online. For example, one of the, the peak uses of Twitter was those hours before assignments were due and students were simply sharing their, their stories of anxiety and stress with each other. But that shared experience made it a much more productive one. And of course, in that process, students would offer to read each other's work, to share resources, to reassure each other. So you get a really good sense that students were doing that social engagement that is actually essential to a good learning experience but we often take for granted and have trouble replicating when we're studying and teaching online. A tweet is, you know, amongst millions of tweets being generated every second, you need ways to distinguish. So in this case it was hash web 101 and what that simply means is it's a unique piece of text that if you search for that you can find all of the related tweets. So in this case students were using that to mark their tweets and thus they could easily find each other and find anybody who was talking about the unit at any given moment. It was very important to get students going to, to role model a little bit how to use Twitter. So I had the great advantage of being a, a fairly regular Twitter user myself and thus I could demonstrate, okay, how do you share resources? How do you encourage other students? How do you ask a question that'll, that, that people can readily answer in 140 characters? But also important things like if, if big questions were asked, how do you know when to direct students to say no? Twitter is probably not the right platform for this. If you need to request an extension, then perhaps we should now move back to email or something like that. So once you've, you've modeled that sort of basic stuff, students very quickly adapt to, oh, how to use this technology and start those discussions with each other. Within the unit, a number of students in, in the end of unit evaluations actually cited the connectivity they felt with each other and indeed with the tutors via Twitter as one of the, the things that they appreciated most about the unit, that it wasn't just the, the standard learning experience and the standard lectures and, and readings, but there was a, a sense of cohesion and interaction which, I mean, fits, fits the unit because it was a unit that was about web communications, but I also think that wasn't the main driver. I think for most of them it was a, a tool to communicate and collaborate in, in interesting ways that they really enjoyed and did some of that, that basic uh, building a sense of a, a meaningful cohort working together that you want students to have. They felt like they were working as part of a team doing shared tasks, not individuals, which is one of the dangers I guess of, of working online. And I have to say that a lot of our students have expressed real interest in, in having that sort of uh, communication functionality built into all of the other internet studies units that they're going to take. This worked well for me in this instance is that I did role model the use of Twitter quite substantially and we have tried the experiment with a different unit coordinator who was uh, less of a Twitter user and they had more trouble doing that initial stuff where students started to connect to each other because they didn't have quite the same uh, role modeling, if you like, of use. So I think it's really important to have modeling of, of use up front, even if it's only for a couple of weeks, just so students get a sense of how to use the technology well and to, you know, if, if, if nothing else, someone to, to mimic that sort of style. Um, the other thing, of course, is that you have to decide well in advance how important this is as an official communication channel. Is this a space where students can make requests for extensions or can, um, you know, get explicit help on assignments that they can always expect a tutor to respond via Twitter. What, what are the boundaries for this? Is this just a social tool for students? How, how is it going to be configured? And I think 
we didn't make that explicitly clear and so we basically had to go with whatever students had decided they were going to do with it so that we could match their expectations. In future implementations we'd certainly make those uh, distinctions more explicit um, from day one so that students didn't really think any time that they could see someone on Twitter, oh we can ask them questions now.